Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Gurong Pinoy sa Amerika. So for today, ang lesson natin ay arithmetic mean. So ibig sabihin from the word itself, mean average. So hinahanap natin yung number sa gitna ng given na sequence. So paano ba yun? Let's have example number one. Find the arithmetic mean between 3 and 11. So, hinahanap lang natin yung nasa pagitan ni 3 tsaka ni 11. So, let's write the sequence. So, 3. And then, yung nawawala. And then, si 11. So, si 3 ang ating first term, a sub 1. Yung nawawala si a sub 2. And si 11 yung ating a sub 3. Now, paano natin hahanapin to? Simple lang. Parang pag-solve lang ng simple average. Add the two numbers, then divide it by 2. So, to find si a sub 2, we will just add si a sub 1 at saka si a sub 3 and then divide it by 2. So, si a sub 1, plug in natin yung values, that's 3, plus si a sub 3 ay 11, divided by 2. So, this will give me 3 plus 11 ay 14, divided by 2. Therefore, si a sub 2 is equal to 7. So, yung nawawala natin ay 7. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Now, paano natin malalaman kung tama yung sagot natin? Pwede natin gamitin yung arithmetic sequence formula para makuha natin yung common difference. And then, yung common difference na yun, i-add natin sa 3 para ma-check natin kung after adding, 7 ang lalabas. Okay? So, review na rin ito ng arithmetic sequence. Ano ulit yung formula? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. a sub n. So, meron tayong tatlong numbers, right? So, a sub 3 equals a sub 1 natin ay 3 plus si n natin, ilang numbers yan? Tatlo minus 1 times d. Si d ang hinahanap. So, si a sub 3 natin ay 11. So, papalitan ko na to ng 11. There. So, solving this. So, 11 is equal to 3 plus 3 minus 1 ay 2 times d. Minultiply si number at si letter. So, sulatin lang sila na magkasama. So, to solve for d, kailangan i-transpose natin si 3 sa kabila. Positive magiging negative. So, that will become 11 minus 3 is equal to 2D. Solving this, 11 minus 3 is 8 equals 2D. To eliminate 2, divide both by 2. So, that 2 will be cancelled out. D is equal to 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, yung common difference natin ay 4. Para sa to? I-check natin kung 7 na lalabas. Paano? Yung first term plus 4, is it equal to 7? Yes. Now, 7 plus the common difference again, plus 4, will it give us 11? Yes. So, therefore, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. Next example. So, insert 4 arithmetic means between 5 and 20. This time, hindi natin magagawa yung kanina na i-add lang natin then divide by 2. Kasi, hindi naman isa lang ang hinahanap natin. Apat ang hinahanap natin. So, isusulat ko lang to as an arithmetic sequence para makita natin kung nasaan ba yung apat na hinahanap. So, nasa pagitan daw ni 5 and 20. So, we have 5 and then may missing na isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, and then 20. So, ito yung apat na terms na hinahanap natin. Paano natin isusolve yun? So, we will be finding for the common difference. Para yun na i-add natin sa 5, makukuha natin to. Then, kung anong sagot dito, plus the common difference, makukuha to. Plus the common difference, plus the common difference, plus the common difference, let's see it will, if it will be equal to 20. Okay? So, paano ba natin kukunin yung common difference? Gagamitin ulit natin yung formula in finding the uh, nth term sa arithmetic sequence na a sub n 
is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? Now, i-plug in natin yung mga values. A, N, ilang numbers ba to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 equals, si A sub 1 natin ay 5, plus si N natin ay 6, minus 1 is D. So, si A sub 6, papalitan ko lang ng value niya, which is 20, equals, isosolve ko na to, 5, plus 6 minus 1 is 5, and then times D. Now, to solve for 5D, si 5 ililipatan sa kabila. Kukumbine natin yung parehong numbers. So, 5, pag nilipat, magiging minus 5. So, 20 minus 5 is equal to 5D. 20 minus 5 is 15 equals 5D. Then, divide both by 5 para makuha si D. So, therefore, ang common difference ay 15 divided by 5 is 3. So, si 3 ang gagamitin natin para makuha itong mga numbers dito. Paano? 5 plus 3 is 8. Then, 8 plus 3 ay 11. 11 plus 3 ay 14. 14 plus 3 ay 17. And then, 17 plus 3 i 20. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay? So, ganun lang kaikla ang ating lesson for today. But, kung nakatulong ito sa inyong module, sa inyong lesson, kindly give me a like para share to ni YouTube sa iba. And please, if you are not yet a member of my community, please subscribe sa aking YTC, Gurong Pinoy sa America, Teacher A. And also, kindly like my FB page, same name, Gurong Pinoy sa America by Teacher A. And pwede kayong mag-request ng topic na gagawa natin ng video next time. Okay? So, that's it for today. See you on my next video. Paalam!